The National Institute for Health Research has established biomedical research centres at hospitals partnered with leading universities across the UK. These provide unique support for groundbreaking research, helping clinicians and researchers explore new frontiers to help patients. Cancer is sneaky. Its cells hide and divide, often remaining undetected until it's too late. But what if you could train your own immune system to find and then attack the cancer, and only the cancer, the way it would an ordinary infection? Well, that's exactly what Professor Emma Morris's team are doing here at UCL, and they are genuinely excited about the possibilities. My name's Emma Morris, and I am the Professor of Clinical Cell and Gene Therapy at UCL. I look after a lot of patients with leukaemias and lymphomas and other types of blood cancer. And the treatments we have in some cases are fantastic, but really only for about 50% of our adult patients. Chemotherapy and radiotherapy drugs only actually kill the cells while they're present in the body, and as soon as the drug has been cleared by the body, they can't kill any cancer cells anymore. Patients will have to be on these medications long term, and the worry is eventually the cancer cells become resistant to those drugs. I have to sit down and say to them, we don't have anything else to offer you. It's what makes you get up in the morning to try and develop new approaches that might be so different to the previous treatments that we've used that they might actually help. What we're doing here at UCL and UCLH is really exciting because we're using cells to treat diseases and we're taking patients' own immune cells and we're genetically engineering them to go and find the cancer cells and kill them. And what we're able to do with our new gene engineering technologies is to actually change what the immune cells recognise. We've equipped the cells with the ability to track down and find tumour cells or infected cells in the body and then the immune cells do the job they're designed to do which is to kill those abnormal cells. This is what's exciting because a single treatment of cells has the opportunity to give you protection from the cancer long term. In an ideal world, giving a treatment once that would last for the rest of your life and would prevent the cancer coming back in the future is kind of the holy grail of what we're looking for. <laughs>